Hey guys, so in this part of the Space Invader game, we're going to be checking for collision. So when the bullet hits the enemy, we're going to increase our scoreboard. We're going to create a scoreboard, and we're going to add sound effects. So in the last part, what we did was enabled our ship to shoot a bullet and added boundaries and movement to our enemy. So the first thing we want to do now is um, check if our bullet has hit our enemy. So how do we do that? Well, inside of this while loop, we want to constantly be checking the um, value or no, the x coordinate and y coordinate of the bullet and how close it is to the x coordinate and y coordinate of the target. So right here after uh, we're moving the bullet forward. If the absolute value of the bullets dot x coordinate minus the invader dot x coordinate is less than 15, and the absolute value of the bullet dot y coordinate y coordinate minus invader dot y coordinate is less than 15 then we, we want to execute everything inside of this code so let's break this if statement up so if the bullet is if the bullet's x coordinate is within 15 pixels of the target or the enemy's x coordinate then we want this to happen but that this in, everything inside the for loop will only happen if both of these conditions are valid so if this is valid and this is false the if statement is not going to run so in the second condition um if the absolute value of the bullets y coordinate minus the invaders y coordinate is less than 15 that just checks for the y coordinate the difference in y coordinate for both of the uh both of the objects then if that does happen we want to hide the uh, turtle the bullet turtle so it doesn't show anymore and we want to hide the invader uh, turtle so invader dot hide turtle and then what we can also do is after we've hit the invader with the bullet we could set like a timer, and then for two seconds, the invader is going to just disappear, and then we'll wait two seconds for another invader to come. So how, how do we do this? We want to import time, import the time module. This just helps deal with anything time related. So time.sleep for two seconds. What this does is that the program or code just stalls for two seconds. And then now what we want to do is invader dot show turtle, and this is just going to show the uh, invader again. So basically, when we hit the invader with a bullet, the invader is going to disappear for two seconds, and then it's going to pop up again. And then we want to set the invader's x coordinate to a random position. If we keep setting it to the same position, that's going to be quite a boring game. That's going to be a pretty boring game. So, how do we set it to a random position? We want to import another module called random. So, we want to import random. And what random does is that it allows us to generate random numbers. So, x, the x coordinate of the invader is equal to random dot rand int. And then, the two numbers that's inside of these parentheses is going to be the range. So, it's going to be negative 180, 180. So this can choose any random integer from negative 180 to 180. And then invader dot set position. Or let me spell that right. Position at x 180. So it's going to set the position at this x value and then 180 in the y axis. And then player dot set position 0, negative 180. So if I run this and I hit the invader, it disappears for two seconds. 
and then pops up at a random area. And then after two seconds, you notice how the player also shifted from here to there, even though I didn't physically move the player. So let's try to hit it again. Then you'll see that after two seconds, the player reset and the invader reset to a random position. So, what now? We want to be able to keep track of how many times I hit the invader. So we want to have a score variable, basically. Uh, we can have we can have that right about here. So create score, create score, and then at first we want our score to be zero. Now what we could do is draw the scoreboard. Draw scoreboard score. 10 is equal to turtle dot turtle score 10 is equal to speed 0 score 10 is equal to the color black so we could change the color of the pen to black um, score 10 dot up since we want to move it we want to move it to a certain position that's not in the center that set the position of the pen to negative 200, 210. This should be did gone. Uh, score pen dot right. Score, and then um, this percentage sign S, which basically is a acts as a placeholder, and then. Any variable outside of this string will replace this percentage sign s. So score, and then it will show this score value. And initially, when you run it, the score should be zero. Let's have a cool in there. And then score pen dot hide. We want to hide the turtle, so like not turtle. So let's see what happens when you run. B is not defined is equal to dot speed uh, dot color not equals to int object has no set position score underscore pen dot set position and that should be the last of the errors. Yep, and then at the top left, you see there's a score, but if I hit, let me try to hit the enemy, actually. If I hit the enemy, nothing happens, the score doesn't increase, which, you know, we would want to increase the score. So, let's make, let's add a counter or a way to increase the score. So, how do we increase the score? Well, before we already created this collision. So if uh, the bullet hits the enemy, then um, it's going to hide the bullet and hide the enemy. Now we can just update the score inside of this if statement, update score. So score is equal to the previous score plus one. So whenever the bullet hits the enemy, you can increase the score value. And score pen dot clear to remove the previous score and then score pen dot right score colon um, percent sign s and then percent sign score so if I try to hit this and I missed I missed again and I missed again with that oh man okay you saw how my score increased and let's try to hit this again. And my score increased again. Now, when I try, I close the window, I try to run it again, it should restart back to zero. And which it does. Now, the last part is we want to add sound to our um, project. So, whenever we fire a bullet, we want to add sound. 
whenever the bullet hits the enemy we, we want to add sound. This is just a bonus. It's not needed for gameplay. It's just a nice um, bonus when you're playing. So what we want to do is import a sound module, which is going to be import win sound. So import win sound. What this allows us to do is create sound effects. And we want to create two sound effects. One is when we fire the bullet, and one is when the bullet hits the enemy. So instead of our fire bullet function from our previous parts, we can have we can create a sound effect. So win sound dot play sound. I already have a uh, downloaded sound effect. So sounds laser. It's in this folder. Sound dot wav comma win sound dot nsd async so what this should happen is whenever i run uh there should be a full bullet firing sound which there is so that's our bullet firing sound well, we, we want to we add another sound, though. When we hit the enemy, we want to hear, like, an explosion kind of sound. And, again, we already added a collision if statement to check whether or not we've hit the enemy. So, inside of this if statement, we can have sound, and then when sound dot play sound sounds explosion sound.wav you can find sound effects online pretty easily uh one sound dot snd underscore async so there should be two sound effects now when i shoot the bullet and when i hit the enemy and when i hit the enemy you heard that pretty loud and obvious explosion and when I miss, nothing happens. And I missed again. Let me try to hit one more. Yep. So that's going to be it for this video. You can definitely make this um, project much harder. You can increase the speed of the bullet, increase the speed of the enemy, add more enemies, try to challenge yourself as much as possible. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video and of this game. We'll see you in the next video.